Hi everyone, Gina Buckney here. So today I thought I'd share some tips on how to relieve stress um, in the short term and in the long term. I was in the library yesterday and I was sat, sat next to a lady and she was huffing and puffing. She was on the computer screen. Something was obviously going wrong. Um, and she was taking lots of deep breaths and sighing and I was sat next to her and I hope you haven't got anything because I don't want to catch it. But um, <laughs> no, she was very, very stressed. And um, I had a bit of a stressful day myself yesterday. So I thought today um, I will share some techniques that really help me to relieve that tension and that build up and that stress. So I'm going to do the short term ones that are quick, instant stress relievers. So number one, the physical sigh. And that's what the lady was doing in the library yesterday. <sighs> like, just let it all go with the breath. Try it now. It actually feels really good. <clears throat> and you can make the loud sigh if you want. She was. So, um, yeah, I, I talk about this a lot. Actually, I do three deep breaths when I've talked about it before. And this is before if I go on stage or if I have a big presentation or something that's really important to me that is causing me a little bit of stress and anxiety and I need to shake it off. And it's like, right, okay, three deep breaths, breathe in, hold it, release the tension. But this physical side is just one breath and just try it today and see if it helps. So that's number one. Okay, number two is walking. And some of you, again, if you follow my social media, you see I do a lot of walking. I've been setting myself challenges. I did over 250 kilometers last month walking, 400,000 steps. Um, and there's many reasons why I do it. One is it's get me fit and healthy. I've lost over a stone in the last few months through increasing my step count. But I think for me, it's that moment of mindfulness. I'm really big on meditation and mindfulness. And it's just getting out and about, putting my headphones on and not thinking about anything. It's a really big stress reliever. And the science behind it, for those of you who know that I'm obsessed with the brain and how that it works. And I've been studying it for many years. Um, and during the pandemic, did um, a course of study with Harvard online. And it was just so insightful. But anyway, the amygdala, the area of the brain that is responsible for your fear, stress, it's your fight or flight, scent, fear center of the brain. When you're walking, that's deactivated. So all the stress and stuff, it can't overtake you. You start to think more logically as you're walking and it's more because you're focused on an activity and you're not so consumed by the thought of the stress. So try some walking. Maybe this weekend, if you really feel like you need to relieve that stress. Okay, number three. Hobbies or thought redirection. Now, for me, if I've got stress going on that maybe has come from other people or outside influences and it's really worrying me about situations, then I've just done the physical side. There you go, as if by magic. <laughs> It's just thinking of it. Don't think about it. That's number three. It's like redirect the thoughts, focus on a hobby, focus on something else, get consumed by something where you're not going to be distracted by the stress. You know, constantly going over the scenario or whatever it is that's causing you stress. What happens in the brain? It's like, oh, the stress, it thinks it's the real thing. It's that amygdala again, it kicks in and it's taking over all logical thoughts. So you've just got to distract yourself. Take up a hobby, I'm doing Spanish. F find something that just distracts your brain and you can focus on that in the moment. They're the three quick ways to relieve stress. If you want to know the longer term tactics that I have to, or strategies I should say, because these short term are the tactics, quick tactics, as we say in project management, if you want some strategies for longer term relief of stress, then subscribe and I'll release another video on this. Leave me a comment so I know this is valuable to you. And um, yeah, I hope that helps. Try one of those or all three of those today if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed. I hope that helped. Thank you.